Hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd, and besides me, right here, is a bunch of vases. Vases are really cool for a number of reasons, and 3D printer manufacturers love to use vases to show off their printers. One, it's a, usually a single perimeter wall, and it doesn't take much time to print, and you can also print really large really quickly. Of course, I use them for testing because vase mode is cool, and you get some fairly functional objects out of it. In fact, Let's go through them. This was a vase printed on the CR10 and I ran out of filament and well, that's why it looks so short. I printed these on the Prusa i3 Mark II because this is my Protopasta Hi5 Blue PLA and I just wanted to see how they looked. This was printed on the Obsidian and this was printed on the Trinus, both Kodama printers, both printed in Polymaker filament and both look fantastic. These three were printed on the Zix Plus 3D printer. This is PLA, this is ABS and that's squishy. This giant vase was printed on the CR10 and Matter Hackers Pro PLA, and it, uh, it's Josh's. There you go, dude. Woohoo! And finally, this vase is printed in refill PET filament on the CR10, and I'm testing the filament, so of course I printed a big vase. Someone else who really likes vases is Devin over at the Make Anything channel, and Devin is the one that designed my favorite vase, and this vase. What makes this one special is he designed it in two colors. You can print it as one here, like I've done, but you can also print it in two colors, but you do run into some issues. First, depending on your filament settings, you could have one filament jam, or get caught, or produce this result, and I had a failure both with my prime tower and with the model itself. That sucks, so I changed the filament. Now we're getting somewhere. This is printed with some Matter Hackers Pro Green PLA and some Lulzbot filament, I think eSun Glow in the Dark PLA, but I had a prime tower failure with this, so I thought, well, let's just turn off the prime tower in Cura, let's load it up on the Ultimaker 3 behind me, and Let's see what happens. Well, the print turned out okay, and it looks like this. This, this is great. The model is nearly perfect, but because I turned off the prime tower, you can see tiny little areas where there are some remnants of filament. So as the filament would come out of one extruder and it would go and it would switch extruders and come out here, the little bits that would drip off that are usually taken by the prime tower actually attached to the side. I just used my clippers and my flush cutters and I cut it off and it turned out great. So here it is in two colors. Devin, I love this vase, thanks for making this. What I find cool about this one is, like I said, I use the eSun Glow in the Dark as well as the Matter Hackers Pro PLA, that's this fluorescent green. The eSun PLA glows in a green, and I printed with this neon green filament. So, the idea is, if we can charge this with UV light and go into a dark area, the green glow of the eSun filament should also glow through this semi-translucent green Pro PLA from Matter Hackers, and we should have one giant glowing green vase. Let's try it out. Whoosh. Here we got our UV lamp, and we've got the vase. So here it is. We're gonna turn the lamp. We're gonna charge it up. It won't take too long. Okay. Can't really tell right now, but when you go outside. It glows. And it's cool because even though the green filament itself isn't glow in the dark, the glowing of the eSun glow in the dark filament is causing the green filament to fluoresce a little bit. Whoosh. Wow, that was cool. The whole thing glowed green. That was, uh, that was awesome. Of course, I used a UV lamp to charge the light and then I ran outside where it was dark and we were able to see it on camera really well. What's really interesting about this vase, uh, partly because of the failures I incurred, is that it is solid. This is a solid piece of plastic. Even though I set 10, 5% infill, I don't even remember. Because the area is so small, there's no infill. It's all just perimeters and it's solid. It is solid plastic. So this is cool. Uh, it shows off one of the neat things about being able to use two different types of material and not just two colored materials, and it's a vase that I love. So, again, Devin, thanks for designing this. Thanks for designing my favorite vase. Uh, if you've designed a vase, 
let me know. I'd love to see pictures of it. Uh, tweet me on Twitter and, and show me pictures. I just love these things. It's awesome. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. A big thanks to everybody that supports me via Patreon, via YouTube Red, and for everybody that lets the ads play. And finally, don't forget to hug each other more because I love you guys. As always, uh, vases are cool. And high five.